Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more MLS with Portland Timbers. Today we've got Austin FC. Last time out, um, Portland got a win. I know, I was, I was as shocked as you. Uh, I think it was a really good performance, a couple of good goals. Um, I think slowly over the past few games, Portland have been up in their game a bit and been playing a lot better. Um... Yeah, it was a great victory on the weekend. Hopefully today, midweek. I think the game was. I think the game was today, um, at least for me anyway. Um, but yeah, it popped up on my phone and I was like, oh, didn't realise we had more midweek games. But the more MLS, the better. So yeah, this is the game from. Today or yesterday, depending on where you're from. So let's jump straight in and watch the highlights. Hands, rare starts to defender Leo Weissenen and striker Giazzi Zades. John Gallagher still injured. Felipe Mora drops to the bench. He was a scorer on Saturday. Uh, Jonathan Rodriguez takes on a more central attacking role. Not too, not too coming happy off strike. To stadium. Austin go for six up consecutive to really, home wins as we hit another midweek match day in Major League Soccer. Zades sticks a toe in. Uh, Austin in green, Drusy. Portland in white today. So the man outside in Drusy goes all the way to the box for Charles, no. the man who uh, came in with the challenge. And the referee's pointing to the spot. What? Diego Charles that was a bit late, wasn't it? Drusy went down and Victor Rivas. How late did he make the decision? Charles comes in, watches left leg go across. No does he get the ball? Doesn't no. look like he does. Chara steps across. Drusy the way he's holding his leg and rolling around. That is not Rivas. a penalty. He, he thinks no, about he it made... as well, doesn't he, Victor Rivas? It wasn't an instant decision. He just let no, oh, things look go at for a, that. a bit longer. Yeah, that's a great shot. That's Won the Austin time. penalty. That is not a penalty. Will now step up. What he is on his penalty. line? What you want him to do? Juicy against Pantemis. Oh, and that was saved. A terrible penalty. Another Juicy miss from the spot, and Pantemis recalled to the lineup tonight, making the save. And keeping us level. I didn't even realise Crepo well. weren't playing. He's trying to stay tall. He does. No, to lean whether he's right red. Save. The body shape of Chiriusi. Whether he was guessing, but. He's done his homework. Yeah. He, he, he read that right. Different position. He was brought in initially to be the number nine striker. Zardes, well, that's fallen for Wolf. He's got Obreyan at the back post. This is Hader Obreyan. <laughs> just lost it amongst his feet nah, for a second and allowed he that up. those tanned Portland shirts to get around the ball. Although that's oh a my horrendous God. mistake from Miller. It's set up now for Juicy. Cleared Locked away by Arujo to arrive in that game, get into the final third. That Miller, he's the first one gone for me. Oh, that's a, that's a foul. That's a foul. And the ball in his dangerous oh, what a save. And then Pantemis didn't know much about it, but he kept it out anyway. What a save. And Portland can come at the other end. What a first half from come James Pantemis in the Portland goal. That ball ricocheting back towards him. He makes the save, and now here goes a That's a foul. And he plays that one very coolly to win the free kick for the challenge. I think he's going to have a go, isn't he? Stoppage time at the end of the first half. It's Evander. And it's oh, brilliant. Oh, that was good. Absolutely brilliant. That was good. He went for it and he finished it. And he silences Q2 Stadium with another moment of Portland Timbers magic from the Brazilian. The distance it was on from. Ooh. And it starts outside that post. Ooh. He's going around. Up and around the wall, there's enough room to squeak it in as Stuber misjudged it. So always going towards that side, right. but there's enough power Keep it. It in full behind stretch it. couldn't get that. Hits the back of the net while Stuber is still diving for it. What a magical Osman Bukhari. Oh, there we go, Sunday. Canadian international. Now Heinzeit, he's gone all the way into the box oh. and he's fired it over the top. This well, looks like a nice run. Biro has gone wide to the left, he goes wide right. His instead. voice sounds Thinks really familiar. Juicy. This is Pereira's run into the channel, and the cross is deep. Biro is there to arrive, and then oh, almost turned goal bound, but straight into the hands ultimately 
of Bantemis. He's played really well today. Still have a lot Penalty save and that your before the free kick, right that superb save. And his ring. Oh, he goes near post. Now, Tried here's to a trick in there, didn't he? Portland attack, and it's oh, Anthony. that's poor defending. That's penalty. Man, and then he's brought down, and the Portland Timbers have got a penalty of their own. That was a hundred percent a penalty. With the challenge. Anthony got the other side of him. Because he's making a attempt at the ball. It's a good block from Portland, and the Timbers immediately they go the other way. Look at Anthony getting involved. No drive, it's between moments whether Paul. I go for it or not behind like you should be dealing and with that, that a lot poor. better. There's body positions all over the place. I mean look should just be there, just through clear it. that. Takes a touch and then inside. he just like he just like falls into Anthony. him. Like it's what is he the right doing? Is Anthony he gets there. He's got the body that? position behind like just clutters into the back of him. That was so the terrible. That was the terrible point. defending. They've lost their last three road games. But Rodriguez yes. may well have put them on course for three points penalty. on the road. Austin nil, Portland two. Rodriguez sixth goal I mean, now that, in that Major is League Soccer. Shocking defending. And the Timbers have just, set Austin a huge out challenge corner in the final stages of out. this game. And he gets, and he gets in his own head under his feet. What a massive call this is. And, and then he just kind of like folds and collapses well, onto the back of him. One goal lead, where they go for it, they decide to. Fully deserved. And when Rodriguez steps up to the penalty spot, no mistake, straight through it. Estuve jumps out of the way. He's guessing, goes to his right, and Rodriguez smashes it home and smashes the Timbers in what looks to be a commanding lead. And here come the Timbers again oh. with Anthony into the box now. Coming back oh. with options available. Oh. Mora misses the chance to absolutely put a seal on the game, although there is a flag up on the far side. Could go and attack it. Nine conceded from set pieces for the Timbers this season. They get that one away. Just hit it. Here's go Wolf. for it. Just trying a little bit too much there, and now again the break is on. And Rodriguez started in his own half, so he's on side. So is Mora alongside him, and here come Portland. Go on. It's Mora in behind, oh, and a good save from Stuber, which keeps Austin in the game. That what was a big really save, that is. Yeah. That'll, I'm sure, increase the chatter around what Austin's transfer and intentions could be this summer. Them widely expected to make a move imminently. And this is drilled from Heinz Eich once again. Well, they've done a nice job of just slowly turning this match in their favour. And they've won it. A run of three straight road defeats ends in Texas yep. for the Portland Timbers. A Great goalkeeping. Um, yeah, for three defeats on the road and now two wins on the bounce. What's going on? Philip Neville's doing something right. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what it is that he's doing right, but he's doing something. Um, so, yeah, second win for Portland. Hopefully, on Saturday, get another win. But, yeah, um, another really superb, really superb... Um, game the the word just um completely <laughs> completely escaped me then but yeah um i don't think this is right i don't think yep yeah, we're in the wrong year <laughs> um but yeah i can't believe it another win i'm i'm really happy with that um uh, i think i think their penalty was soft i thought Portland's was definitely a penalty, and their goals were really good. So, six, picking up six points, it's really, really important time to be picking up points because obviously, going into the summer with the Copper America and that, a lot of teams are going to be losing players. So, I don't know how many are Portland players. Um, are going to be going to the Copper America, but I have been told that they don't stop for the Copper America, they just plough on through, so hopefully it's not too many players. Um, 
So it's really important to be picking up the points now rather than having struggling and having to try and pick up points when all your players are gone. Um, there'll be a lot more focus now on the MLS because I'll have a lot more time for the MLS because the English football season has finished. The only thing left uh, now is the Champions League, which is I think it's Dortmund, Dortmund and Madrid, I think. But yeah, um, in case you're watching this and you don't know much about the Premier League, my team is Newcastle. We finished uh, seventh, unfortunately, because we had a really bad back end run to the season where there was a few games where we we should have beat teams and we didn't. Uh, we finished seventh, which got us something called the Europa Conference League. But then Man United, who finished eighth, went on and won the FA Cup. And if you get the FA Cup, you get Europa League. So Man United have got Europa League, Chelsea went down to the UA for Conference League and we've been shunted out of Europe. So um, if you're interested in finding out more about football, like uh, English football, uh, then yeah, I will be um, doing a few videos over the summer in regards to transfers and what I think is going to happen and stuff. Um, we've... Also, alongside, I'm going to try and keep up with the Copper America. Um, with the Copper America, I'll probably just keep up with the American games. Um, because if you've got the Copper America, and I, and I want to try and do videos for the Euros, um, Euro 24 is this summer as well. So, two massive tournaments side by side. It's going to get messy. Um, but I'm going to do another video explaining what I'm going to do and all that um, in regards to the Euros and Copper America and stuff so look out for that one but let's look at the stand-ins and wrap this video up so um, Miami are still first there's still teams that can overtake well, uh, the only team that can really overtake them is Cincinnati if they win their game in hand but if you've got these other teams pushing, Miami needs to keep on it. Um, Miami might be a team that might struggle uh, cop in the Copa America because obviously you got Messi, you got Suarez. I mean, I can imagine they're two of their top players, so it might be a bit difficult for them. Um, and yeah, then we go to the Western Conference and Salt Lake are top. Um, I mean, LAFC could possibly go back top if their goal difference. Uh, the goal difference is quite. It is six goals, so Salt Lake look like they'll hold on to that for a bit longer. Um, Austin, who are fifth, who obviously Portland just beat. Oh, there's Portland now. We're ninth on nineteen points, just just in the cusp of the. Um, the playoff bit, um, where's uh, Kansas City are rock bottom, they're the team we beat last time out, um, but yeah, so things are looking good for Portland, I mean, another win, and they could be in the top seven, um, what we'll do, I'm going to just look at the schedule, just wait for that load, and we'll see what the next game is for Portland, uh, which will be this week, Weekend against Houston. Um, I don't know where Houston are. I'll have to go back and look in a minute. Um, so, yeah. Nice game against Houston. Which... Eh. I mean, off the back of two wins, confidence is high. Uh, Houston are... Houston are eight, so they're only... a just above us. Yeah, I think we can do this. Um, uh, yeah, well, actually, changing my mind, I am going to do a video what I'm going to be doing over the summer regarding the MLS. No, yeah, well, yeah, it would be the MLS, the Copper America, and the Euros, because it's going to be, it might end up being a, a fair few videos. Um, and I'm not 100% sure that this is what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try and do it. Um, the MLS 
focusing on Portland. I'm still doing the regular Portland videos. Uh, the Copper America will probably just be the American games to tie into the whole MLS thing. Because I could do daily videos, but that would be a lot of work because I'd have to sit and wait for all the games to be played and then do the video. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing in Euro 2024 if anyone's interested in finding out about that. Um, I'm going to try my best to do daily videos. It's going to be difficult and I might slip up at times and it might be like I do two days worth of games or three days worth of games if I haven't got the time but I'm going to try my best um, also I'm going to be doing a football manager 2024 um, Copper America challenge I'm going to be in America and try and get that try and win the Copper America or get as far as I can um, and then obviously the Euros I will be doing an England challenge with that um, so yeah a lot to come on the channel um, there is a lot going on in my life at the moment and it might impact those plans but those are my plans moving forward so overall summary um, Copper America I'm going to try and do all the American games cover all of them the highlights and stuff uh, the Euros I'm going to try and do daily videos and cover all of them it might be like two days or three days worth i'm not going to be watching all the highlights for the euros because that'd be stupid but i will be doing the england highlights um then thirdly a football manager 2024 copper america challenge with america and then the euros i'm going to be doing a 20 football manager 2024 video with them trying to get them through the euros and see if we can win that um that one i might do the squad that Gareth Southgate picks and a squad that I would pick so it's kind of two different types of videos but yeah that is a lot to digest I will try and do an actual video and go into a bit more detail and explain what I'm going to be doing but yeah lot lots of basking uh, but the most important thing as of right now is Portland won two games in a row and we are now ninth and our next game is against Houston the team above us so it could get even better if we get a result against them um, I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have then please like um, comment subscribe ring the notification bell um, I didn't actually say to do that in the last video um, but yeah so if you're interested in all things Portland Timbers in the MLS and you're interested in any of the plans that I've outlined then all that lovely stuff so you can keep up to date but yeah i'm gonna leave you now um thank you very much for watching i hope you have a good day good afternoon good evening or a good night and i shall see you guys in the next video see you later bye bye